It's the Nuka Cola Lounge Kitchen, bringing you the flavors of the wasteland without the radiation. Today's contrivance. Today we're going to be doing another version of Nuka Cola Classic. Now this one is a lot simpler than the recipe we did in the previous video, which means it's probably not as close of an approximation to the real Nuka Cola Classic recipe from the follow lore. But this is still a version of Nuka Cola that you can make that's fairly legitimate, and you can call it Nuka Cola because who the hell's going to tell you you're wrong? So I'm going to send things off now to Sive in our top secret triple S mixology labs that are totally not in his kitchen. Thank you, Ash. This recipe came up from people wanting to know what Nuka Cola tastes like. It was early in the 2000s, and a bunch of people on a couple of fan websites threw around some ideas and everybody kind of agreed, hey, this is what Nuka Cola should taste like. Not really very authentic, and it involves Mountain Dew. Now, Mountain Dew was chosen because it was green, and because it looked like it had radiation in it, and honestly, it kind of tastes like it too. Cream soda. And Coca-Cola. One third of a cup of each gets you a really basic, Nuka Cola. There's not a lot to it. It's really simple to mix up. It does taste pretty good, but it's definitely more swamp watery, like you're just mixing drinks at the fountain. The biggest difference I would say between this one and the one we featured in the previous video is this one lacks that distinct fruit flavor that the, that the other one had. But it is still very tasty and something simple you can mix up on the fly. How do you like Mountain Dew? You know, when I was a teenager, I actually loved Mountain Dew. Oh, um, did you? It's been, it's been way too long since I've had it that I, I can't really say. So I think what Saib is driving at is that your enjoyment of Mountain Dew might affect how much you like this particular Nuka Cola recipe. But I really like this. It's got all of the creaminess of the previous recipe with a nice cola base, but like I said, it does lack that, that distinctive fruit blend. But hey, it's still great. Still something you can probably enjoy and mix up on the fly for your friends. And, and they'll think that you were just great. You can impress girls with it. Just invite them over and say, hey, want to come over and have some new cola? I mean, that works, right, Seb? That Yeah, it doesn't really work. If that doesn't work, all you need to do is get yourself some baby mole rats. We as you are. You are so cute little mole rats, aren't you? Did oh, we're back, sorry. So thanks for joining us for this edition of the Nuka Cola Lounge Kitchen. Next time, we're gonna be doing the more advanced recipe, so you wanna drop some skill points in your cooking ability if you're gonna be tuning into that one. Anyway, on behalf of Side, my name is Ash, and we'll see you next time.